Boeing Boeing is set in the early 1960s when it was written, and this was the heyday of airline travel as glamorous mode of transportation. It was new, it was beautiful, planes were sleek and modern and comfortable, airports were sleek and modern and comfortable, and stewardesses were chosen for their beauty and their charm as much as for their ability to handle crisis situations. Airline travel was really seen as the way to go. Now, one of the leading characters in our play, Bernard, an American architect living in Paris, has figured out a whole different way to take advantage of the new airline industry. Bernard has worked out a system whereby he can, by dating three stewardesses who work on three separate airlines, maintain the fiction that he is engaged to each of them. He insists that this system is foolproof, it's just a matter of organization and proper scheduling. Now, on the day this play takes place, he is insisting that his system is foolproof to one of his oldest and dearest friends, a young man named Robert who is visiting Europe for the first time from Wisconsin, where they grew up together. And Robert is in many ways the hero of the play. He is charming, naive, a little bit idealistic and wide-eyed, just dazzled by everything he sees in Paris. And he's certainly dazzled by Bernard's system for handling women. He's a little dubious about whether it can actually work as well as Bernard says, but he thinks it's, it's really pretty impressive. But of course, this being a farce, on this particular day, everything that can go wrong with Bernard's system does. A combination of bad weather, technical difficulties, airline scheduling changes leads to all three fiancés having to return to Paris simultaneously, and of course they all decide to descend on the apartment of their supposed fiancé. And as a result, Bernard, his hapless friend Robert, and Bernard's long-suffering maid have to work like crazy to keep the girls from figuring out that the, that the others exist. And what you get is a classic farcical convention. Door slams, near misses, mistaken identities, conversations full of comic misunderstandings, all the classic elements of a really great farce. And of course it just builds and builds and builds, gets funnier, crazier as the evening goes on. I think that audiences who in the past few years have loved Is He Dead, The Ladies' Man, Last Year's Too Many Cooks, will find themselves again laughing like crazy and just loving every minute of Boeing Boeing. Boeing Boeing, opening June 19th. We'll see you at the theater.